Devarim, Deuteronomy 29. These are the words of the covenant which Yahuwah commanded at Moshe to cut with at the children of Yasharael in the land of Moab beside the covenant which he cut with them in Chorev. And Moshe called unto all Yasharael and said unto them, Ye have seen at all that Yahuwah did before your eyes in the land of Mitzrayim unto Pharaoh and unto all his servants and unto all his land the great temptations which your eyes have seen, the signs and those great miracles. Yet, Yahuwah has not given you a heart to perceive and eyes to see and ears to hear unto this day and I have led you 40 years in the wilderness. Your clothes are not waxen old upon you, and your shoe is not waxen old upon your foot. Ye have not eaten bread, neither have ye drunk wine or strong drink, that ye might know that I am Yahuwah, Elohechem. And when ye came unto this place, Sichon, the king of Shesban, and Og, the king of Bashan, came out against us unto battle, and we smote them. And we took at their land and gave it for an inheritance unto the Reuvenim and to the Gadim and to the half-tribe of Menasheh. Guard, therefore, at the words of this covenant and do them, that ye may prosper at in all that ye do. Ye stand this day, all of you, before Yahweh Elohechem, your captains of your tribes, your elders, and your officers with all the men of Yasharael, your little ones, your women, and your stranger that is in your camp, from the hewer of your wood unto the drawer of your water, that you should enter into covenant with Yahuwah Eloheka and into his oath, which Yahuwah Eloheka cuts with you this day, that he may establish you today for a people unto himself, and that he may be unto you Elohim, as he has said unto you, and as he has sworn unto your fathers, to Avraham, to Yitzhak, and to Yaakov. Neither with you only do I cut at this covenant, and at this oath, but 
with him at that stands here with us this day before Yahuwah Eloheinu and at also with him that is not here with us this day. For ye know at how we have dwelt in the land of Mitzrayim and at how we came through the nations which ye passed by. And ye have seen at their abominations and at their idols, wood and stone, silver and gold, which were among them. Lest there should be among you man or woman or family or tribe whose heart turns away this day from Yahuwah Eloheinu to go and serve at the Elohai of these nations, lest there should be among you a root that bears gall and wormwood. And it shall come to pass when he hears at the words of this curse that he bless himself in his heart, saying, I shall have peace, though I walk in the imagination of my heart, to add drunkenness at to thirst. Yahuwah will not spare him, but then the anger of Yahuwah and his jealousy shall smoke against that man. And all the curses that are written in this sefer shall lie upon him. And Yahuwah shall blot out at his name from under heaven. And Yahuwah shall separate him unto evil out of all the tribes of Yahshadael according to all the curses of the covenant that are written in this sefer of the Torah so that the generation to come of your children that shall rise up after you and the stranger that shall come from a far land, shall say, when they see at the plagues of that land and at the sicknesses which Yahuwah has laid upon it and that the whole land thereof is brimstone and salt and burning that it is not sown, nor bears, nor any grass grows therein, like the overthrow of Chadam and Amora, Adma, and Sivalim, rather, Sivaim, which Yahuwah overthrew in his anger and in his wrath. Even all nations shall say, Wherefore has Yahuwah done thus unto this land? What means the heat of this great anger? Then men shall say, because they have forsaken at the covenant of Yahuwah Elohai, of their fathers, which he cut with them when he brought them forth out of the land of Mitzrayim. 
for they went and served other Elohim and worshipped them. Elohim whom they knew not and whom he had not given unto them. And the anger of Yahuwah was kindled against this land to bring upon it at all the curses that are written in this sefer. And Yahuwah rooted them out of their land in anger and in wrath and in great indignation and cast them into another land as it is this day. Now, the secrets of Yahuwah Eloheinu and the revealing to us and our sons forever is by the keeping of at all the words of this Torah.